Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh my god. Wait a minute. The quad. Ah. Hey guys, welcome back to My Singing Monsters. When this video goes up, it will be Christmas Eve, so Merry Christmas, unless you don't celebrate Christmas, in which case, happy holidays or uh, uh, have, a, have a nice day. What do I want for Christmas? You're probably thinking, Matt Shea, he's gonna ask for a whole bunch of likes, isn't he? No, what I want for Christmas is 2,000 comments on this video. You don't need to say Merry Christmas, but you can if you want, or Happy Holidays, or something else. But uh, some say it can't be done, guys. 2,000, that's a lot. That's a lot of people clickety-clacking on their keyboards or their, or their mobile devices or whatever. But I believe in you. Thank you. Okay, so the question is, what did the monster handlers give us for Christmas? Well, seems like they gave us a whole bunch of stuff, sort of. Over 100 rare and epic monsters. Give me that, give me that mailbox. Give me in the mailbox, okay? Rare and epic Yule available, guys. Um, we already have the rare Yule, but we don't have the epic Yule. So I'd like to get that, I'd like to get that today. And, uh, and also look at that, the more the merrier. Over 100 limited time monsters available. What are we doing today? That is the question. Well, I'm gonna read some comments, guys, and, uh, we're gonna get some of the epics. I have a goal. My goal is by the end of this video, I want to have bred every available four element epic. There's like three, four, maybe five. So uh, it's, it's not, not impossible for us to do it. All right, it might, I might need to give myself a Christmas present in the form of diamonds to pull it off though. Okay, let's start with this little roast, huh? I love how when he's in the Coliseum, he literally ignores the level requirements that says single element monsters only. Wait, wait a minute, am I supposed to read things now? Am I supposed to have reading comprehension in order to make these videos? Life is so unfair. Okay, a lot of these comments, guys, are about Cold Island and the Wubox and whatnot. Like, this one says, fun fact, there's a part of the Cold Island song where all three Wubboxes sing at the same time. Sounds better than you think. We're gonna have to go to Cold Island now. We're gonna have to go check that out, because that sounds interesting. Okay, and why not go to the most festive island in the game? Okay, wake up boys, girls, wake up thems, cause we're going, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna sing together. Now you see, you see this guy going, Wah! his breath comes out, somebody said that, did I save the comment? Hmm, I did not, but you can see his breath, so that's cool, the person who said that, thank you for telling me that. There is a comment about this guy though, it says, um, there's a part where the epic Wubox on Cold Island's eyes light up and make a sputter sound. It's actually supposed to represent a car struggling to start because it's been in the snow for too long, so the engine is really cold. Apparently they have to do that in uh, Alberta. <laughs> Apparently in like Northern Alberta and probably other places in Canada as well, people had to put heating blocks on their engines so that they don't freeze, so they can actually drive their cars in the morning. That's too cold for me, man. I might be Canadian, but like, no, I have my limits, all right? I recommend putting the talking monsters on Cold Island next because it makes the regular Wubox fit in the song more. Smiley face. Um, tell you what about, I, I, I tell, you, tell you something about that, guys. Look at this. I have 91 relics now, okay? I, uh, I, I have more than I had in the last episode for sure. I, I, I bought a few on one day and I bought a few on another and also on the first day, I, uh, I did a lot of spins, okay? Now I spent a lot of diamonds, of course, but uh, this is actually the most cost-effective way to get relics besides for just buying one a day. One, two, or three a day might be something that I do as well, if I remember to. I've been like super busy lately, guys, because I am getting ready for Christmas, okay? I'm recording this video an entire week early because I'm going to see my brother in Alberta. Oh. But he's in Calgary, so it's not that far north that we don't have to worry about extreme cold. Yay. I had to set limits for myself because it's addicting, going again and again and again here. Boom, I got a relic. Okay. So, still costs money, of course, still costs diamonds, but um, better than buying them after you buy a couple because then they get really expensive. But then the, the rate resets once a day and you can buy them for cheaper. But only like one or two and then expensive again. What I was going to say about that, guys, is I will get some Wordos, I believe they're called. But I'm waiting for them to go on sale again, because uh, uh, before they went on sale for 50 relics each. I don't want to spend 100 relics on one of those, because they're very expensive, and relics are hard to get. So if they go to 50, 
I'll buy a couple. Okay, yeah, guys, I gotta say, I do appreciate that effect. You know, the exhaust sort of effect. Somebody call it, like, whole breath or whatever, but, like, this guy's a robot, okay? He's more, more of, like, a vehicle than a person, so it's an exhaust. I bet he burns fossil fuels. I bet he's killing the environment. Two recommendations for Gold Island here, guys. I really recommend to get Octopus on Gold Island because it goes really well with Pom Pom and Hula's part a lot. And also, I recommend getting Punkleton on Gold Island. His sound ties in almost perfectly uh, to me with the Riff, Shellbeat, and Chorister Trio. Okay, Bloom and Christopher, let's do that. The Octopus and the Punkleton. Now, I, I don't have a lot of food right now, guys. But I do have a couple of bakeries that need to be uh, collected from. So we will have a little food. I know there's definitely a Punkleton on Plant Island. So let's, uh, let's get punked. Wait. Oh, yeah. I hear you hooga hoogaing over here. Mm-hmm. Gord. How you doing there, Gord? Wait, you're, uh... Is this guy the rare? Is he the rare Punkleton? Doesn't matter, right? I can put a rare there. Rares are okay. We're gonna assume it's okay. Cause, Cause it's okay, guys. Oh, I ran out of food. One second, I'll be back. One million, one million, one million. Three million. Now, how much does it cost to go from level 15 to level 20? Because here's a comment. Matt, I'm not sure if you've done it, but there's a really cool effect that happens to your monsters when you get them to level 20. I'm gonna make sure I can definitely do it before I, uh, before I start pumping money into somebody. How many does it, is it five? five feeds per level, which would mean half a million to go to level 16, which means at least another half a million for the next four levels, which means that I, I won't have enough. I need a lot of food to do that, guys. That's like a, that's a later thing. Two things can be placed now, guys. Let's go with the octopus first, okay? I don't know where to put you, bro. I'm running out of space, I'll put you, put you down here. I'm not running out of space, but you know, I'm trying to have everybody be visible. Wait, you go with the, these things, is that? Is that what they said? Yeah, okay, the octopus goes with the pom-pom hula thing, guys. Okay, yeah. That definitely goes together. Okay. Yippity-yay, guys. Ooh. <laughs> okay, now, now the... The Punkleton. So the Punkleton goes with the Riff Shell Beat Chorister thing. Oh! They're doing it now! Do it! Gord! Okay. This makes sense. I mean, he's saying hooga hooga exactly what he says on Plant Island. Okay, bro, I gotta move. I gotta move you somewhere, man. I don't even, I don't even know what we're doing here. This is getting out of control, man. It's getting out of control. This island popping off. Oh, it's four food to level up, guys. So that means that uh, if we have a level 15, we need three plus five is eight. Sixteen. Two point eight million so we might actually be able to get a level 20 here it costs three and a half million total guys there's got to be someone on one of these islands that's like already a level 16 or so because i think i might have done that at some point let's find out let's find 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 out come on is there any way for me to tell without like having to click on every person it's not going to be one of you you guys got no levels it's not really that important guys if, if if we have something that already has a little bit more in it because i can get a little more food if i need to get a little more food it's not a big deal so maybe we should just pick someone maybe it should be this guy ferg i do love my ferg a lot guys he's pretty fergalicious for ferg for wait what oh no oh no oh oh my god wait a minute the quad ah ah the quad element, guys. I just wasted a lot of food. And I just realized that the quad element costs 10 million total. Single elements are the cheapest to get to the thing. Don't even care. I don't even, you know why I don't even care? I'll tell you why I don't even care. I'm going to get some more. Wait, which one's the epic mammoth? Are you, are you the epic mammoth? Slush? Slush? Yeah. We'll do this guy, because he's got no levels. Poor guy's got no levels, so he's pretty cool with all the stuff. Can't afford to get you very far. The, the Man, the, the curve on this is crazy. Like... You go from costing a few thousand to costing hundreds and then millions. Hundreds of thousands and then millions. Okay, well, let me get, look, just, okay. Big salad, big, big salad. Speed up the big salad, 48, it's expensive, but I'm doing it anyway. Cause guess what? 
because I want to, because I'm genuinely curious. You know, sometimes I just like doing this kind of stuff because it hurts the people watching. They're like, oh, I can't believe Matt just did that. I can't believe Matt just spent all those diamonds. You could have waited a day. I can't wait a day. I'm recording right now. I'm going on vacation tomorrow. Slush, level 15, gets a little bigger. Just enough, just enough to do this. Wow, guys, that's so much. What? Not just enough? Can I count? I need 600,000 more food. How much? How? How much is that? It's, no, I'm not. Do, I'm not doing that. You're funny. You are funny. You are funny. Now I just feel silly, guys. But let's just let's just have a good time, okay? Let's just have a good time. Let's just let's just get some epics. Let's get the epic Yule or whatever, and uh, and you will feel better. Well, first of all, we light our torches. Thank you, guys. Thank you for that. In order to get an epic Yule, we need a Deej and a Pango. I'm assuming most of the time we're just gonna end up with a Pango as the uh, as the result, which is just fine. Six diamonds, there's a Pango. We zap it. Nice, we can zap it. We can get our shard farm started. Yo, that's an epic Yule, guys. That wasn't so bad. That could have been worse. Okay. Woo! Look at this guy. I don't know if he quite beats the rare Yule, because I like the rare Yule with his big brown beard. No matter how it may adorn itself with bobbles and bows, Epic Yule always makes a chilling first impression. Thus, the first known Epic Seasonal prefers a behind-the-scenes role in the festival of yay festivities. Making lists, checking them thrice, three times? That's a lot of checking the list, yada yada yada. If common and rare Yule are the face of the yay operation. The busy epic Yule is the mastermind. He's got a, a carrot. He's got, he's, he's, he's like a, 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 a half snowman. Ho, 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 ho. So that's great. Ho, 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 guys. Ho, ho, ho. ho, ho nice ho, uvula, ho, ho. by the way. Very cool. <laughs> okay, next up on our list, the epic ant brat. We just need to, interesting, a T-Rox and a shrub. Oh, what's this? An epic ant brat, a very expensive epic ant brat. Open it up. This is crazy! This is uh, epic! This guy, oh my. Look at him. What's up with this guy? Yikes! <laughs> That's a great way to start it. The Epic Ant Brad is a truly terrifying sight for anyone familiar with its hearty common cousin. What, that guy over there wearing the later hosen? No need for alarm, however. We can assure you that this Epic is in a perfectly healthy state. It may be pale, frail, and honestly a little creepy, but this is simply the appearance of a monster that prefers the comforting darkness of a cozy cabin to the shining rays of the great outdoors. Okay, so he lives in the shade. That's why he looks a little bit run down. This guy's got more teeth. He looks almost like meaner or something, you know? But he is a little bit uh, asocial because he sounds like he lives in the woods by himself. Epic riff. That's gonna be a pom-pom and a quibble. That's not so bad. It's a three a three element and a two element, I believe. Pom pom. Okay. Quibble. Our quibble is not level 15, but our pom pom is level 15, so that's cool. We don't want you. Just go get over there. There you go. Oh, what is a rare pom pom? You know, I gotta say, guys, I wasn't expecting to get one of these, but I actually kind of wanted one. I mean. Alright. Okay, well we got that, and now I want to get the epic pom pom, guys. But let's get the epic riff first. And then we'll have to uh, probably get some more diamonds. Wow. Thanks, Obama. Look at that. Neat. Epic Riff's ability to shred on its symbiotic instrument is so impressive, its instrument needs two necks. But wait, is this instrument even alive? Of course it is. The eyeless, noseless, mouthless, and otherwise faceless instrument may have sacrificed its expressive visage for an extra neck, but it's still capable of communicating with its wing pal via forceful strums and playful twangs. Okay, so yeah, you can see there's an eye on this guitar. This guitar has nothing. It just likes to blend in, okay? It's got cute little feet though. Look at those feet, guys. It's got five toes and everything. <laughs> I want the epic pom-pom because it's very colorful, guys. You know, T-Rox and Cybop, good combo, guys. Oh, 21 diamonds, guys. What is it? It's the, the epic pom-pom. Leaving me with a total of nine diamonds left. Oh, anything for you, rainbow cloudy lady. Pom-poms eat red food. Rare pom-poms eat indigo food, and epic pom-poms eat everything. When a group of, wait, everything? Are they cannibals? Increased vitamin intake has made the pelt of the epic pom-pom luxuriously fluffy and reverted it to its original white hue. Unexpected side effects include incredible cranial growths, 
and blindingly bright stripes in every shade. Well, now we can move on from this island, guys, and go get another four element epic. Psych, I don't got no money left. Yeah, bad. This is the best deal, so I'll do it. A hundred dollars. What can you do, right? Okay, to be real, what I could do is not do it. But you just left so many comments down below. So many, so many nice comments. How could I say no? Okay, now I have 6,009 diamonds, guys. Uh, what's that? What's that wallet? The wallet said he hates you guys. He doesn't know why, why I do this to him. Um, okay. Whatever. So we are looking for... An epic shell beat, and I gotta say, guys, the epic shell beat is, in my opinion, one of the freakiest looking monsters in this game. And it's gonna be a sponge and a cybop. It's just a, the, the three element with the cybop, just like uh, on the other island. We'll use a rare cybop because it doesn't matter. Here we go, Toon. What's that? No. Oh! There it is, guys, the epic shell beat. That cost me like 80 diamonds just to speed up that breeding process. And look at him! Look at this, guys. Before before we do anything, look at this starfish. Um, yeah, this guy spends some 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 good times on the bottom of the ocean. Do I want anything else? I don't have an epic Tweedle, but why would I want it? It's disgusting. <laughs> Rather have a dipster. Okay, and that's saying something. I want the epic sponge. I told you guys I wanted the epic sponge before, because he's got a little uh, skeleton in there. So let's get the epic sponge. Five hundred. 500 diamonds to buy. I don't think so. Scups and octopus. Here's the scups. Here's the octopus. Hmm? Huh? There it is. Okay. That was pretty easy. We'll crack it open. Let's 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 crack it. Wow! Sweeter and more stylish than your run-of-the-mill sea cucumber is the sea spineapple. An aquatic plant emulated by the epic sponge. This clever monster's camouflage extends beyond its dual spineapple stems to its gelatinous body itself. Gelatinous, that's rude! Which can morph into a translucent state. The effectiveness of the survival tactic is debatable at best, as Epic Sponge's stout skeleton remains visible within. It sure does, and it sure is beautiful, so don't you call it stout. I don't think that necessarily is an insult, but neither is gelatinous, but how dare you! Now we go to Earth Island, guys. That's right, things are getting crazy. We gotta get an Epic Forester now. Clamble and dandy do. I got a clamble and I got a dandy do, so we good. Wait, yeah, I do. <laughs> For a second I wasn't sure, but I dandy do. Well, that's a rare clamble. Hmm. Something I haven't tried for yet, I don't think. It looks positively medieval. Well, back to what we were doing before we were rudely interrupted by that breeding. 27 diamonds later. Epic Horister, 27 plus 35. So, yeah. It's a 62. But look at it. Look at that thing. God left you unfinished. Okay. Erosion. That makes sense. It looks like that's what happened to you. Some monsters age gracefully while others age like this. The seasoned epic chorister has been one with the earth for so long that vegetation has begun to take root within its weathered form, changing the landscape of this once formidable golem forever. Ever the optimist, epic chorister's heads can't help but smile as its new buttercup yellow blooms and dignified bonsai tree. Well, most of its heads. One, two, three, four, five mouse. And, and 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 there's one, two, three, four, five sets of eyes. And everything here is is six. So rip to that guy at the top. He's a tree now. A bonsai tree. This is so sad. Can we smash the like button? Now, we are not done, guys. I think there is one more that we can get, and that's the tring. That's the, you know, the, the, the big dudes down here. This is a pretty profitable island for me because of all those failed attempts to breed. Was it Epic Cana? So now I just have a bunch of these guys. I think that's what happened. Go ahead and grab these. Thank you again, guys, for lighting my torches. Always appreciated. That'll be Bourbon Stog. It is a good thing that I've got a whole bunch of Celestials, guys. Well, you know, unwoken Celestials. You know, I'm thinking about the islands right now and uh, what I'm going to do next. Light Island is currently my, like... Most neglected island. There's some cool stuff on that island that I definitely want to see in the future. So we'll probably have an episode where we just focus on Light Island. Oh, the mighty Bobbin Stug comes through. And 68 diamonds later, we got it. Um, okay, you get you get to go down here. All right. Check this out, guys. It's a Minotaur. Oh, Sinola. Oh, that's right. 
Money. I don't got no money. It's okay. We don't need money. During the long interval between the end of the Dawn of Fire and the rediscovery of Firehaven, few monsters ever ventured out into the labyrinthine network of caves and tunnels that surrounded the hidden sanctuary. Those who did, however, reported that they never felt lost because they sensed the guiding presence that helped them along the way. This very presence turned out to be none other than the piebald epic train! The fire quad's cloven feet help it to find sure footing in the dark and its unique globular crystals supposedly grant advanced night vision too. Not sure why it eschews the traditional triangular nose ring in favor of a circular one though. Would it make more sense to call this monster an epic ring instead? Well, I think that's it guys. I'm pretty sure there is no epic snizer on Fire Oasis. And I believe that's where the, uh, the four element epics end. But it has been a journey learning about these things. Okay, look, I'll show you. Show you, show you what I mean. There is no epic snizer, just a rare snizer. I mean, I could get that instead. It does look kind of cool. Fine, one final gift for Christmas, guys, because I love ya. The rare snizer. Let's get it. Better not be like, <laughs> better not be super hard to get. I mean, I wouldn't care if you gave me snizers instead. The rare snizer can be bred with one, f seven different combinations. As long as you have no overlapping elements and and add up to all of the elements, you're good. So a Kongle and then a Kana ought to do the trick. 30 diamonds, that's gotta be it, right? Oh, it's a regular Snizer. Why are they so expensive? Oh my God. No, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't dream of doing that, guys. It's much better to just place it. You get so much, I got no beds left. Oh gosh. Oh man. Here, you happy? I know, just so so many Snizers. So many Snizers. I can't give you any food, so don't even ask. Oh man. So. Look at how much money I got from this Celestial, guys. Three million dollars. I had to reset it so I can continue trying over here. There we go, guys. I got it. That costs nine, uh, 80, 93 diamonds. 93 diamonds to breed this, man. I mean, if you skip it, of course. Wow. I like, I like this guy better than the common. I gotta say. I do. Wow, look at that. Almost all the things except for... Yeah, it's 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 got to be the rare, um, the rare gobbly gourd, or the the epic gobbly gourd, I guess, right? Yeah, rare, common. That's the epic. It's the only thing that we can't get here. Um, you know, if we wanted, we could we if we wanted to get all the other things, we could. Rare Snizer's feeling hot, hot, hot. No, really, get this rare an ice pack. While these sun-loving Snizer cousins adore baking all day long in steaming heat like an endless summer song, all that exposure has had some chilling effects on their physiology. Chilling? I don't know about that. They look, they look pretty hot. <laughs> Charred scales like volcanic rock, crystals flickering with pure fire, and a once glistening geyser now brimming with broiling magma make rare Snizer too hot to handle, but not too hot to love. There you go, guys. That was, um... A whole bunch of mostly epic four elements with um, one rare four element thrown in there and a, a few other rares along the way and epics along the way. Lots of stuff. My collection is growing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you have a great Christmas slash holiday and I'll probably see you in the next year for the next episode of My Singing Monsters. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.